I'm Makia Wright. This time I'm in Odaiba, a major tourist spot in Tokyo. And we'll be bringing you the show from Miraikan, the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation. This facility is designed for visitors to understand things happening in the world around us from the perspective of science and to imagine and experience the future. You're watching Channel Japan. With me now is Stomu Ota, the museum's science communicator. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What kind of experiences can visitors have here? Our museum considers science and technology as a form of culture and hopes to offer a place where people can talk about its role in society and the future. I see a big globe behind us. Yes, it's called the Geocosmos. In this museum's very first director, astronaut Mamoru Mori wanted to share with visitors how the Earth looks from space. It really is like looking at Earth from space. Yes, thank you. Various kinds of data can be overlaid on Geocosmos, which is shown on this display called GeoPrism. For example, if you want to find out what's trending on Twitter, such as the hashtag Good Morning, you can see the tweet is concentrated in this region. I see. On the other side of morning regions where the tweet is concentrated is the hashtag Good Night. You can get a bird's eye view of who's doing what from space. It really makes me realize how big the Earth is. Mr. Ota, what are all these displays here? This is called Geoscope, and there are 13 small and big tablets, nine below and four above. These are used to overlay various scientific data on Earth to make the information more visible. Please give it a try. Okay. What kinds of data can I see? You start by using this touch panel. There are all kinds of data. But, for example, there's one on forecast simulations of temperatures in the future. I'll tap this. You can see a colored map of the world. Yes. The colors show how high or how low the temperature is compared to the average between 1950 and 1980. And now, it's the year 2000. It's bright red. Yes, the temperature is continuing to rise. Red indicates that the temperature is higher. And you can see up to the year 2100. Seeing how the future is like, I can't help but feel a sense of crisis. I agree. This is only one simulation. But it shows how the future could look if we keep going the way we are. It's been a very educational experience. Thank you so much. Thank you.